And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of our first Neighborhood Open Remote Fight Series. I'm here joined with Danny, the Dojin Danny, uh, one of our reoccurring viewers of our stream on twitch.tv forward slash GG Mr. Rogers. So if you're ever in the mood to come over and watch our stream when we go live to play either Remote Fight, Vanguard Zero, Dragon Ball Super, or any other game that we ever play, uh, you're free to do so at your own leisure. So right now we're here with Danny. Hey Danny, how you doing buddy? Hello, how are you Mr. JJ? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good man, I'm doing good. Uh, you, you, oh, oh, deck box, deck box, you got oh, it. Oh, deck box. Oh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, so you played four rounds of our Neighborhood Open. How do you feel? Obviously, the environment down here is all soft. The ceiling's soft, the floor's soft, uh, the walls are soft. Hot, bothered. It is like 30 soft. degrees over and here at the moment. Good day, Australia. Uh, but overall, um, it was a fantastic time. It was incredibly fun. Um, once again, our, commu our little community is always filled with personalities. Yes. Um, and yeah, overall it was a good time. Uh, let me just... Uh, oh, it it's Danny! He has a face! <laughs> I have a face. I have a face. Alright, well, it's a shame because we want to see your deck, though. <laughs> Alright, all right, let's go back in, Jack. <laughs> well, that handsome lad you just saw there just now is Danny. <laughs> yes, hi. How's it going? Um, so yes, uh, so the deck I'm playing, of course, is good old... Astral Poets Valkyrion. Yes, yes, yes. Did you took to this event? And what were your rounds like? Walk us through that. How was that for you? All right. All right. So round one was against. Uh, let me just grab the standings real quick because I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, oh, yeah. So round one. Oh no, that's round two. Sorry. Uh, yeah, round one, I was versing against Echo. Now, Echo, he had brought his Gear Chronicle next stage to mm -hmm. the event. Mm -hmm. um, game one, I managed to win. Game two, I was 5k short off of his uh, Chrono Jet Dragons attack. Yes. Uh, his rearguard one that he had completely buffed up with triggers and everything. Um... I absolutely loved, uh, and this was just hilarious. He kept, uh, because Chrono Jet was all about Sentinel Restrict, mm -hmm. but I had a, a Valkyrion and a, and a Stasis Dragon in hand, so I was just like, uh huh, uh huh, your Sentinel Restrict? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, that was kind of, it's pretty, pretty nifty. Because uh, could we, could we take a quick gander of uh, your deck, though? Oh, like, walk sure. us through the rest of the, the rest of the tournament while you're, uh, you're, you're sorting out your stuff. Yeah, and then we can have a sus, yeah? Yeah. No, I mean, like, um, keep on keep on going through and uh, do that oh, at the same okay. time, I mean. Okay, yeah. We can do that. Um, so, overall, yeah, so against Echo, it was very intense, actually. I didn't think I was going to win. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, of course, Valkyrion, as always, somehow manages to pull through. And the gods had favor in me, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, round two, it was... Let me check real quick so I can remember. Round two was against Warjiggle. Yes. Now, Warjiggle had brought his... Uh, I cannot remember off the top of my head, I'm sorry. What Warjiggle brought to the event. Oh, Sharrod. Dark Air Regular Sharrod. Oh, sh oh, right, yes. Uh, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, Warjiggle brought Shaharot. Mm -hmm. uh, game one. Um... I think it was game one, he didn't find his number of terrors. Mm -hmm. And then game two, he found, I think it was both of them. Yeah, he did find both of them, but he still missed the killer yeah. tail at, at all stages of uh, both yes, games. Right, so yeah. he, he lost out on a lot of, you know, pressure he probably could have done. On a lot of, yeah, soul pressure, because he would have been able to completely smack my booty cheeks. Uh, so, that was actually pretty exhausting because, as you know, JJ, uh, Force Clans tend to have a bit of a downside against Protect because of how they're designed. Yep. Since you're, I mean, yep. if you only can get three attacks off if you don't have the 
yeah. uh, origin, it makes it a very hard time to, for you to deal with it. It does. Um, and then, so that was stressful. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, not stressful, but uh, challenging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then, versing uh, round three, what was his name again? Nor, how do you pronounce that? Nos, Nostriel? Uh, I thought it was like, no, n wait, you're, you're making me miss it too. A notorious set. <laughs> a notorious set. Notorious set, thank you. Mm. So I versed against him uh, round three, mm -hmm. and he was also playing Shaharot, which meant two rounds I went back to back against Shaharot. Oof. Oof. Uh, that, that is that a bit of a slog, yeah. That's a bit of an uphill climb. It's sort of like, uh, well, I'm really now having to push to the limits. Um, I did make some misplays here and there, but overall, I find that this ran smoothly. It was just very fortunate that most of my Valkyrions found Valkyrion. Yep, so we did see that, yeah. Yeah, most of the time I would either have between five or three drive checks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there was a scenario where I was fortunate enough to have a second Valkyrion in hand because the first one only had uh, one drive check. <laughs> oh yeah, so I remember I just, that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just played down the second one and got more drive checks off of the second one. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> I mean, you could just compile the triggers together, just like sort the triggers uh, to yeah, the triggers, and then yeah. when we eventually get to the triggers, you could just talk about your ratio if you want to. Yeah, you know what? That's actually really smart. <laughs> why are you so? Why are you so smart? Uh, because everything at everything uh, else, I'm pretty stupid. So that's that's kind of like uh, <laughs> one of the, all the other things I can I can do. Um. And then my final round was a very pleasant surprise. Uh, first off, it was against Typo King. What a legend. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, he surprised me because normally he only plays like pure MLB. So I figured, okay, this is literally going to be who can make, who, who's got the bigger PP energy? Who's got the bigger ah. force energy? Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. Because they've been, uh, I mean, it is, Valkyrian is notorious for being, like, one of the premier, you know, force clans yeah. currently, right? I mean, outside of, like, of course, stuff like Luard or stuff like, um, uh, whew, what other clan, like, pops out a whole bunch of force uh, in one Mord turn? Mordred does. Mordred yeah, Mordred kind of, kind of, kind of, if you have a pretty okay hand for it, yeah. And um, if you run all the all the recycling units yeah. or blast arcs and all that, you you can pump out some previous pretty serious numbers. Yeah, yeah, it does feel kind of okay. But like uh, outside would... of like the the decks that run smoothly on themselves, I would say like Luard, um, Valkyrian, and possibly <laughs> and possibly MLB is probably like one of the most consistent um, force generators. Yeah, for sure. All right. So you have your right. deck list here strewn on the table. I mean, a lot of people probably have seen more. A lot of people probably have see, seen, seen like Astro lot. Poets and stuff like that. But we're going to kind of walk through your own decision making as to like why you chose, you know, certain ratios above others. Because most of the more common builds have been playing like, you know, Asterios, uh, Astrius Dragon and yep. uh, more crits, way less grade ones. I don't think there's like any list that even play uh, Atlas anymore, that type of stuff. Um, so could you could you give us a reason as to like why you chose to deviate from that normal tradition? Um, so yes, I guess the first reason is um, every card I find in this deck has its purpose mm -hmm. and it has its niche. Now, a niche is normally bad, but when this deck is quite refined in doing, this deck knows what it wants to do, mm -hmm. and it solely knows what it wants to do, and that's you want to get Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. um, so there would be certain scenarios where uh worst case scenario uh, of course we want to hit the right chain the right chain will get us to succession uh we actually run atlas still for two reasons reason number one is uh 
another ride tucker besides Daiki, I mm-hmm. guess, uh, besides our main G1 and Daiki, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we don't want to actually see this as the ride tucker. But if we do, it does have that soul charge on place. And which can sometimes actually be huge because we still do run two original copies of Origin Deity, or that one soul charge could even soul charge a Valkyrion. Yeah, correct, as well, correct. Which can make it a huge play, which reduces the cost of all my further plays. The other reason is, is I had actually a lot of people tonight try to damage deny my deck. Um, and if you don't open up these three, these three alone is enough to get you the tools and materials to what uh, to be able to get your Valkyrie on play because you get the force from Ride, and then you get the force from these two boys, and then you mm-hmm. also have the reset. Yep. This is the bare bones. If you don't have uh, Uranus and you have a single count, uh, you have two counter blasts. Atlas can fix this problem. Ah, oh, that's why I see. Draw you an additional card. Yeah. So, so this is my reasoning because this, while we can most of the time, we do want to go for this, uh, the original Lord play. This is the alternative plan. Oh, okay. So then why not like twelve, right? Uh, twelve grade threes, and then play two Atlas if you still really want to go for it. Uh, to be honest, I've seen a lot of lists not even run four further twill. Yeah. I've seen many lists only run two of this and two more G3s, whether that be more Atlases, more Astrides, mm-hmm. Dragons. You know, take your pick. Pick your poison. Yeah. Um, what's your feeling about I that? Might, uh, what's my feeling about that? I actually love this card a lot. Um, the best feeling is when you have one of this and the grade one already in hand. Mm-hmm. So when you ride, uh, sorry, at this, this, and uh, any other deity or poet. Yeah. Because that way, when you play this, you of course search the other one. But then say your opponent decides to give you two counter blasts. Not always going to happen. Mm-hmm. But when they do, you can then just, you can potentially, especially if you're going first, you can potentially go for the force two cheeky play by playing the first one, getting the force, getting the draw, and then playing the second one, getting uh, the force again. Oh, okay, so, you know, and then you get like two draws uh, off a of two CB. Basically. Yeah, you get two draws. And the other reason I also run this at four is because later on, this is still a intercept, and this skill can activate on rearguard and vanguard at any stage of the game, pretty much. So once hmm. again, it's another uh, because this also normally will make up an additional rearguard attack while I have my two poets in the back row of the columns. Yeah. So if it's not her, if it's not constellations on the other front row rearguard circle, it is definitely a fervor to will. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because Daiki's Daiki's atlases and bear trucks, or any other grade three, I preferably want to keep as many grade threes as in hand as possible to extend plays for the next turn. So that's my logic of these two are my main like attackers in the front row. Ah, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Well then, is there like any other things you probably wanted to try out outside of like the normal, um, the normal bills of what you've seen with Valkyrian? Um, there is one thing I've actually wanted to try out, and that is the try and because uh, at the moment my ratios is two critical sentinel, two regular sentinel, four heals, and then just ten crits. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so two draws, ten crits and four heals. Mm-hmm. Um, there's two things I've actually des- uh, wanted to try. One is, of course, the 16 crit build with Cyber Tiger. Yeah. So just go full on, all out. Unga Boonga. Yeah. Unga Boonga. Um, the other build I've actually wanted to try is six draws, six, uh, six draw, six crit, or even eight draw, four crit. Oh, okay, any particular um, reason as to why? There's not really a particular reason. Um, mainly, actually, no, there is. Um, because I have want to try... Because if I do test out that build in the future, I would want to run two, uh, two Glefnir. Mm-hmm. I do believe the new Grade 2 unit is. Hang on, I do have a copy. Yeah, Glefnir. Glefnir is the new Grade 2 from the yes. uh, new uh, set. Yeah. Yep. So I would probably replace two Furbit Will with two Glefnir. Mm-hmm. Um... And just see how that goes, really, I guess. What would it be I the reason tried... to add it to the deck? What would be the reason you want to add it? 
uh, adding Glasnia? No, uh, like why? why you, uh, like adding draws or Glasnia? No, like <laughs> why would you want to add Glasnia? Why would you want to? Um, because this would potentially be the more by having sorry by having twelve draw. Mm -hmm. I would more. Fo it's actually a quite interesting build. I would focus on literally generating as much force as possible um, by running like four copies of Astraeus, four copies of original Uranus. Um, not really focusing on the Valkyrie, uh, Valkyrie on restand, I guess, which is a completely different take on the deck. Um, I don't think that version is good at all. I think it would definitely be more of a fun deck, but it's definitely something to try. Oh, okay. And uh, Glefnir would just be a Soul Judge card. Yes. Correct. All so right. So Glefnir would just help with the soul. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to you know, add, you would like to say, or...? Um, Valkyrion's a lot of fun. Uh, v... For premium Valkyrion, I will probably just go with the loot with the Taharots mm -hmm. and Dreamy Dragons and the 12 stand triggers or... No, <laughs> eight, uh, yeah, 12 stands, yeah. No, 16, bro. 16 all the way. What do you mean? 16? Yeah, 16? If my opponent isn't, yeah. isn't, isn't getting bopped already, <laughs> you know, if my Valkyrian is not hitting for 70k, 2 crit, restand every 5 drive, bro, I'm not, I'm not yeah. playing... I'm not going in. You're no. not breathing. I'm yeah, not breathing, dude. Fair. No, joking, joking. Uh, 12 kid um, is also uh, fine, too. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting deck. Um, I am so... One thing is... I'm so sad that Valkyron's getting a reprint due to the silly Malkuth Malik interaction. Hmm. Um, which means that if I go to a more of an official event, I will either need to have a Valkyrion with the updated text or just replace all four of them when I play Vimium or... Uh, premium and the ASR is literally just Valkyrion but blinding gold so that, that's my hot take on that okay. uh, last but not least I would like to give a shout out to you JJ I, I, uh, this would not be possible without you and your lovely community and follow him at twitch.tv slash gg mr rogers I, I would rather not take any credit for anything that happened here. It's all community based. No? It's basically them it showing up and based. playing. That's literally it. I'm not doing anything other than being the cafe that they chill out at. That's literally my job. That, that's the that's the thing, JJ. We have the play space. We can go. Yo, typo. You want to go play at JJ's cafe? Let's go yeah, play there. Yeah, that's basically what my job is. But I do appreciate it, dude. I appreciate you playing. Uh, just send me your info uh, about your playmat. Yeah. In the description or at the end of the video or somewhere under the video there will also be the deck profile uh, the deck profile image there too as well for the people to to take a gander at if they're not you know not in the mood to listen to the uh, or watch the YouTube video um, so that's gonna be there for them for their disposal to do to do whatever they want to so that's gonna be fun so uh, Danny I'd like to thank you for taking out your time to chill out with me bro thank you for playing though thank you very much have a good night. <laughs> you too, buddy. Have a good one.